our Throwback Thursday tonight, we mark just how long the war on terror has been going on. Yeah, this week, 10 years ago, local guardsmen began their trip back home after a year's deployment in Iraq. Tonight, we look at the homecoming of the 278th Regimental Combat Team from our archives. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think we all have to I learn to cook again. <laughs> While Tennessee spouses really waited on their soldiers today, they thought about how life has changed here at home over the last 17 months. We have one that started driving and got a girlfriend. <laughs> Some put their lives on hold. Melissa Morehouse's husband went from being an ETSU accounting student to Iraq. I would say that was a big difference for him, crunching numbers to, uh, to going out looking for insurgents. Give me men on this truck. Men on this truck coming up. The order to unload has been one they have been waiting on for months. Many wives said today their husbands will have new orders, like cooking and cleaning. But those are welcome ones for these soldiers who have been in the desert for nearly a year. We'll not be separated again. I've been doing this for 26 years. This time, hang it up. So this is it. This is it. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I'm retiring. About 150 troops arrived here at Camp Shelby Monday, about 600 more today. More units will leave staggered out of Iraq over the next couple weeks and will make the 20-hour flight here to Mississippi. At Camp Shelby, Mississippi, Josh Green, News Channel 12. Well, the 278th is based in Knoxville but has squadrons across the state, including Dunlap and Mont Eagle. Over the weekend, the 3rd Squadron held a 10th anniversary memorial service in Mount Carmel. The honored Staff Sergeant Mark Edwards and Sergeant Paul Thompson, who died during the deployment in Iraq, and they were obviously uh, done very well there, and we're glad that they did that honoring of these two people there. That's right. Mm -hmm. And now let's talk about weather.